Yeah. Yeah, I knew Megan going into it. We we you know expended a lot of juice uh, from the Clipper game, and uh, it was going to be a task for us to to deliver that same juice. Um, I, I thought the guys gave effort uh, and and gave what they had, so uh, that's all right. It was uh, that we had a warning, and so I did tell the bench that we got a warning. The assistant coach went and told him we had a warning. We had a transition, uh, a little flow, Kevin with the basketball in his hands, and we were told that uh, our guys were standing up at that time. The Theo Pinson Theo, Theo, a little acknowledgement, yes. <laughs> huh? And then I know you said your stat, uh, Seth was basically precautionary. Yeah. What's the, what's the status with, with Nick? How is his eye? Yeah, so he's good. Yeah, eye contusion from uh, Nick, so we'll see how he responds tomorrow. Um, and then Ben, Ben experienced some knee soreness before the game, and uh, so he was a no-go for tonight. Chuck, does he get an MRI tomorrow now just as a precautionary measure? Yeah, I'm not sure, Nick, if we're going to go there. Uh, I think we've done the MRI before, and uh, so I'm not sure if it's warranted this time. We'll see how he feels in the morning, and uh, hopefully he's ready to go next game. Yeah, I don't know how direct it was, but uh, he was experiencing – he didn't feel right. He, that's what he told our you know, performance team while he was out there, so we pulled him. Was there any uh, fear of concussion? I'm not sure about that. I think more I than anything uh, uh, out there. Going up against Anthony Davis, what did you see or how did it be so successful from inside? Yeah, we knew they were going to change the way they played with no LeBron, and we were going to see a ton of uh, post-ups. Uh, his ability to do a few things, offensive rebound, uh, out of our switches, he was able to, um, I don't know, cause us to collapse at times. Uh, and at the same time, his roll to the rim, even though we were in good position, he is taller than everybody else out there on the floor. So give them credit for, for staying with that. Um, we'll learn, move on. Yeah. Oh, uh, Megan, we need a few of those to go in. I think we were two for 16 at halftime. And so uh, with some really good looks, uh, it's amazing how that could have changed the tempo and direction of the game. But uh, that's part of it. Uh, I think more than anything, our group pride ourselves on, you know, keeping teams under 100 points. And uh, it's been a while since we've given up more than 100. So I think they're more concerned with that, which is good. Yeah, we had to we had to uh, put our uh, our closers in a little little earlier. You know, if we're talking baseball reference instead of our middle inning guys, and so and that's what happens. And uh, we try to make a push because we had to make up so much ground. Uh, it probably did take a little bit more toll out of us. Yeah. So. No, I think, uh, you know, he did his regular stint in the third, and then he and I talked about it going into the fourth. We knew we was going to have one more real good push at us. And so if we would have waited too long and brought him in at the six-minute mark, that thing might have been over with already. So uh, decided to run him, and he ended up not playing the last four or five minutes anyway at the game. You said you're going to have to wait on Ben to see how that knee responds. Yeah. Uh, do you already, would you already presume that Nick is probably out for that? Or that who's out, Brian? Nick. I'm hopeful that, uh, you know, the contusion after a day or so is, is okay. Yeah. Before the game even started, you knew you were down some key players. How much of a hole were you in just from the outset? It just puts a strain on everyone else. We tried to really, uh, you know, we put David Duke in, Patty earlier, Markeef earlier than our normal rotation. So tried to really use our group uh, to kind of get us to the end of the game. Uh, but it, it puts a strain on us when we're not completely whole, for sure. All right, David, thank you. All right guys.